holy anthology film, Batman. Tales from Beyond, 2004. Written, directed, and starring John Austin, Nate Barlow, Eric Manning, and Russell Scott. A couple heads into an antique bookstore browsing for a gift, and are treated to multiple stories by the store's eccentric owner. I couldn't really find any information on this film online so I can only make an educated guess surrounding the film's production. As far as I can tell, this film was intended as a star vehicle for the four filmmakers that wrote, directed, and starred in this film. Unfortunately, as this review is about to reveal, this film did no favors for anyone involved. Many of the supporting actors actually upstage the leads in this film, who come across as dull and forgettable. Jeff McDonald's performance as Edmund in the second segment is the standout performance of the entire film. It seems like he's the only one having a good time. Also, in spite of getting top billing on the poster, Adam West is only in this film for 6 minutes and 42 seconds. His character is supposed to become increasingly sinister as the film progresses, but unfortunately he just comes across as goofy old lovable Adam West in what are the only other good scenes in the entire film. The premises of each segment, while unoriginal, are inherently solid premises. Unfortunately, their executions are lackluster, the performances are generic, and you can figure out where the story is going long before the twist is revealed. Every segment fades back to the couple in the overarching story looking at the last page of these books. Which is hilarious to me, as these books are hundreds of pages long, and there's just no way they'd literally stand there and read these entire novels from cover to cover. What's odd is the lack of effort put into the film. There's no visual effects in spite of the stories having supernatural and science fiction themes, the cinematography and lighting are incredibly flat and bland, the costumes are nothing to write home about, and it seems like real interiors were used for every scene, as opposed to sets being constructed for anything. That's what makes the alleged $250,000 budget of this film so dubious. Nothing in the presentation of this film is indicative of money spent on anything substantial, unless $200,000 went to Adam West. Verdict? Thumbs down. Unless you absolutely need to see every single thing Adam West has ever appeared in, I highly recommend you close the book on this collection of stories. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.